Hello, welcome to a new video. My name is Larissa and um, today I'm starting this video a little different because I kind of fucked up my camera settings <laughs> and I feel really ashamed about it because I'm like the worst film student ever. I'll explain in the video what happened exactly, uh, why I'm using different equipment, but I totally fucked up my shutter speed and now uh, the entire video is quite laggy and um, it's just, it's it's not very nice to watch. <laughs> but as it's a reaction video, I can't really do anything else than just upload it. And I feel so stupid right now because I like, I'm not used to this other camera. And I just didn't check the shutter speed. And I found out after and I was like, oh my god, I'm so, so fucking stupid. Um, but yeah, I can't really change anything about it anymore. So uh, I want to say I'm really sorry and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if it's... If it bothers you too much but i changed it now and uh i fixed it so i really hope this will be my only reaction where this will ever go wrong again so yeah enjoy the video and i'm sorry for for this yeah enjoy <laughs> today i'm going to react to the new the walking dead episode um you might notice the change in my <laughs> equipment a bit uh, there's a small story behind that. It's not a fun story. It's actually, yeah, it's not a fun story at all. Um, the thing is, uh, as you saw in my previous two reaction videos, I was living in a new place. Um, it's in Utrecht. I study there uh, and it's a three hour travel from uh, where I normally live. So this place. And as the good student I am, I just went home in the weekend uh, back to my parents, to this place. Then I went to party and uh, i drank way too much i drank so much and uh, i came home i just started to throw up and i didn't stop throwing up and uh, then i saw my cat i wanted to hug my cat uh, i fell like this against the corner of a wall now i have a huge wound here um and it's getting a bit better now but i think i had like a mild concussion so the day after i came at work and i was like everything was spinning and i i just didn't feel good i was very light in my head i thought okay it's probably just because i drank too much it appeared to be the concussion uh then i wanted to travel back to utrecht and i didn't feel good because i thought of the concussion so i stayed home a day longer uh and yesterday i wanted to travel back so I thought, I still don't feel good. I feel like it's getting even worse. Uh, maybe I should do something. Maybe I should like take a COVID test just to be sure the COVID test was positive. So I had the worst hangover ever, a concussion, and now I have COVID. So <laughs> my weekend went great. And the thing is, um, yeah, I just expected to go back on Monday to Utrecht uh, and all my equipment is there. So um, here I am with a different mic, a different camera. I mean, I'm, I'm happy I at least have two cameras, so um, I, I can still do with this one. So that's the small story behind that. So yeah, here I am, corona positive, uh, but <laughs> I'm going to watch The Walking Dead. I'm feeling quite all right. I'm just, sometimes I, I think I got a bit of a fever and um, sometimes I just, I cough a lot and my throat hurts and my head hurts, but for the rest, um, it, it are just mild symptoms, I think. So I, I'm quite fine, actually. So yeah, quarantining with Larissa, uh, watching The Walking Dead now. Uh, really short sure about the previous episode. Uh, that ending really shocked me. It was, I don't know, just the, the switch from um, Daryl's face. They, they like, the camera went to from Daryl to Maggie. You suddenly see Maggie really depressed and you just see that a lot has changed in like not even a second. But it was six months actually, but in the screen it was just a second. Uh, that really hit me. Actually, when I was editing the episode, I saw that three times and I just I kept crying. Even while I was editing my reaction. Just because I thought it was so heavy. And I also talked to my friend about it like, bro, that ending, that was so heavy. And he was like, yeah, I just, I didn't believe what I saw. So, um... Yeah, I'm quite excited to find out what happened in those previous six months. And I hope we're going to see that now. So, yeah, let's watch this. Oh, okay. Judith and... Oh. What are they? They're with Daryl. What? They're practicing? What is this? <laughs> a haunted maze! Okay, so they went there. Honestly, I get why people join that community. <laughs> I feel like it might be your only chance to like actually live a normal life. Even though it isn't so normal anymore to live like that, but still. 
But they all have their dark secrets, so... They 30 already, so they've been there for a while. <laughs> Why does he have a bunny? Dude. Are you using fake names? As our very own Mercer, Celeste! <laughs> wow. That place is something. I actually love that we're getting a Halloween episode like in, in the middle of February or actually almost March. Gally looks different. New haircut. Masquerade ball? They got everything there, even a petting zoo. These children are just living the, the normal life. Oh yeah, he had cancer, right? I totally forgot, now that means we also have to say goodbye to him probably soon. Oh, he actually works at the zoo again! I totally didn't think about that too. Your dad saved this from Hilltop when it burned. Because he knew how precious it was to you. But there's something actually more precious than that in your family. So this leash is yours on two conditions. One, that it always makes you as happy as it I love how the entire family is dressed up as tigers. And always think of her when you play with her. I miss Shiva. You heard from Maggie or Lydia? I feel like not a lot of them stayed behind, but I guess some did, otherwise we wouldn't have the conflict between, well, Maggie and Daryl we saw at the end of the previous episode. Classic Carol. Carol. <laughs> what are you doing here? Snooping. <laughs> I love her. Oh, that he needs surgery. Oh, maybe they can actually do that there. Right. Mm -hmm. Of course. This is a kill no help at his chance. He knows the odds are good. But he doesn't know there's likely no chance of getting surgery and that's by some miracle. But that means he decided to become a doctor after all, because first he only wanted to bake cakes. Kind of miss Princess though. I love how, loved how she it's always made fun of him. Green. How did she call him? The, the angry pumpkin man or something like that? The man in the pumpkin suit? I don't know, I just miss her. I feel like Daryl and Rosita just... Like, they're way better just because they've lived out there all the time. <laughs> Daryl doesn't even need the knife. And what was that? You with me. I'm having a Oh. So, is that your friend, Jude? Oh, there she is! Oh. Actually dressed as a princess. Oh, rock on. Good taste. Oh, that's that's cute. First, I thought she's gonna be rude because she doesn't get money, but oh. what the fuck is that doing down there? Love volunteers, especially ones that look like that. Right here. Okay. Let's see what Santa brought me. It's supposed to be fun. Not worth my time. These are just their weapons, right? What is he trying to do? I don't like that guy. <laughs> he thinks a bit too much about himself. You can see that already. I felt like something like that had to happen. Take your time, Daryl. <laughs> Why did you do that? You're oh, that's that's the sun, right? Yeah. 
I was like, he looks familiar, but... Dog! I'm always so happy to see Dog. Why are they playing the music so goddamn loud? Aw, he gets his own. <laughs> this sounds so like the normal world suddenly. Oh, that place was outside the walls. What do you want from me? I have a friend who's waiting for surgery and I need you to get him to the corner of the ward. Oh god, Magna looks so good. Just look at her. Wow. He hates you. I think he hates everyone. Mercer in a suit. <laughs> look at Princess. <laughs> She's crushing. It's not my thing. Oh, it is. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I'm boring. You want to make it more interesting? Join me? I would be up. There's a dress code. <laughs> nice. I'm starting to like them together. At first, I really thought he was an asshole, but he was just doing his job. Say about the class on display. Carrie is last year's pottery. This is her first masquerade ball. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm certain that, yeah, I kicked his ass in the train Oh, maybe he's not allowed to be in, in that army thing anymore. I feel like that guy's up to something. How much this place protects and cares for all its citizens. Bullshit! This is bullshit! How do you really believe the Commonwealth cares for all its citizens? You just stop. Don't come any closer! Don't come any closer! I just want to talk! One mistake and I lost everything! Tyler, I want to listen. Let's talk, just the two of us. Don't just lie! Two of us. This is what you care about. Fancy parties and paintings. <laughs> The moment he lets her go, they'll throw him in a prison or something. Go after him! Oh, I hate that guy so much! Just only his face already, like, die! Oh, we. Oh. Going for the haunted maze, that's nice. Exciting. I think you're lucky Daryl is the one who found you. Stop! Don't do that. I got beat up. Lost my apartment, my spending card. I have no way to help my sister or kid. I need you about family. A lot of us don't get to have that anymore. We took that away from her. That's not fair. really gonna bring him in I mean Daryl also have to score some good points but Tough bastard. Now I did something right now you go why help him why Daryl why <sighs> that fucking little shit I just can't stop looking at Magna every time she she's on my screen like damn girl. Resist the Commonwealth! Visibility for workers! No. Probably. I mean it's what Connie just asked, like they're dividing those classes like a lot. I mean, only the people with the high jobs and yeah, actually the rich people are allowed to come to that party and it's not very fair. Like, they're totally bringing back the problems of the old world. It was a good first step. For what it's worth, I believe in. This place is like a city from before. You remember? Yeah, I did. I expecting you. Well, it's nice to see you too. Come in. Vintage. Really? I'm sorry, lady. 
I tell her? <laughs> the highness. Gets out of line. You would have loved it. Don't do this to me. I know that this was too painful before. This belongs to you. I want you to have it. This place can be fresh stuff. That's great. I really love that Carol is doing this for him. Well, I mean, they, I don't think they ever stopped loving each other. They just couldn't go on because it was too, too painful because of Henry. But you can see that now that they're sitting here alone with the two of them, you just see they never stopped caring about each other. <laughs> I actually really love seeing them back together. It's a different look for both of them. I love how it just kind of seems like Daryl adopted her or something. <laughs> what? Hey! Cats are looking at me. Damn. There are more. Okay, damn! I feel like it was so interesting to see actually our group of people who we've been following for such a long time to actually see them live a normal life. And we already kind of had that in the previous part of the season with uh, only uh, Princess, uh, Connie, Eugene and Ezekiel who um, yeah snuck into there. But now to actually see that for, for Judith and, and RJ and uh, Daryl and just all those people, Carol, to see that for them as well. It's, it's kind of nice to see how they're all... Yeah, sort of living the normal life right now, even though, like I said, it's not really, yeah, normal anymore. God, oh my god, it's a cat. <laughs> um, and at first I was like, okay, I'm not sure um, what new problems we're gonna get, but it was also a bit expectable. Because you're creating the old society, and if you create the old society, you're gonna get the old problems. And uh, now the rich people are really... Yeah, divided from, well, actually the workers. And that's something I already saw in the previous part of the season. Because uh, then we had uh, the son of Pamela. And when he was sitting there with his girlfriend. And he was being so rude to Eugene and, and Stephanie. while well, they actually saved him. So those kind of people just really annoy me. Like, they're born in a rich family. They never had to fight. They never had to do anything. And instead of just... He just doesn't feel compassion for other people. His face already annoys me if I see him. And um, yeah, I just really hate him. <laughs> I feel like he's not even that that dangerous or something. Because I believe he's kind of weak. He's not the best fighter. I mean, he can fight. But we saw what Daryl had to do for him. And he wouldn't have made it on his own, I think. But just... Yeah, characters like this really annoy me. And I can talk about it like really long how much these characters annoy me but i think most of you agree with me if i say that he's fucking annoying but yeah overall i like this episode i gotta say not very uh well not really a specific thing happened i think it was overall to kind of show us the vibe of um how it is there and how they're living there now uh, there are a few people we didn't see and that were indeed maggie and lydia Just trying to think of aaron we also didn't see aaron uh there were a few people we we didn't see but um yeah, I guess we'll see about that. But there were still people uh, back in Alexandria trying to rebuild it, if I uh, got it correct. So maybe they stayed behind to rebuild it or something. Because I also didn't see Judith with Gracie. And I believe they're yeah quite good friends. I also really like to see Judith in a normal environment. And actually making friends and just asking for allowance. Like, oh my god, that's, that's just too real. And I love how Daryl was like, oh shit, this is... Totally bringing me back to the old world. And that Daryl's actually being such a father to Judith and RJ now. I really like that too. I mean, it, it really seems like he just adopted them or something. And if there's anyone I, I want to see take care of, of Judith and RJ, it's definitely Daryl. Uh, Carol is fine as well. Um, so yeah, that's, it's nice to see that they now they don't have... Now that they both don't have Rick and Michonne anymore. So um, yeah, I just, I just like the vibe of the episode. I like seeing them live a normal life and... Um, 
now at the end the real problems were starting to come up so i'm excited to see how this will continue i i think not, not a lot happened yet but i think the problems are only just starting and i think they made a nice choice to actually I mean, in the previous episode when we had that end, I really wasn't sure what to think of it. I was like, oh, I really don't like this. I don't want them to join them and just leave their old life behind and split up in two different groups and them to fight in the end. But now we saw like the first month of them being there. And like I said, now the problems are really starting. So I'm excited to see and find out what is ha going to happen in those other five months, which eventually led them to the point where they were in the previous episode. Uh, so I guess that was my reaction. If you want, you can already see the next episode. It's available on my Patreon. Uh, you can also find uncut reactions there. So you can uh, see my full reaction to the entire episode. So if you're interested, check that out. And if you like this episode, then please leave a like, subscribe. And then I really hope to see you next time. Bye.